things when I'm hurting. You always pick me up when I am down. Hello. Hello. All right, so we're out uh, this evening, just taking a walk. We got invited to um, one of her cousins. Um, they've been down in summer and they just got back. So we're gonna take a little walk over there and I figured we'd do a little walking vlog. Uh, this is our neighborhood. Um, I don't think I've was been down here before. So how long is the walk up there? Yeah, this five is minutes. this is where we lived before. We, how long do how don't long live we live here? Two years? Two years. Two years we lived in here. Oh this this is uh this is uh, what's his name? Uh Ray, Raymond. Yeah they do uh they do online work. They do online work so so they have to have computer and internet. That's what I said this morning. I got to get me a generator. All right, so it's about maybe five o'clock now. So um, sun is setting down. Hi, everybody. We have Sir, Sir Sean Michael Kinabato. <laughs> Hi. All right, so we're coming up uh, on the axis, and we're gonna go walk down towards the um, towards the um, uh, down there. It's the express expressway is the word I'm looking for. And uh, well, here's a, not a shop, but not a motorcycle shop. Maybe I need to sh check that out. I haven't seen it before. They just open up, I guess. Uh, here looks like they open up uh, another Bell Bell Canteen, Asado, Lechon, Menudo, Seasig. So I guess it's a little lunch place. Um, strategically placed outside the college grounds uh, and uh, San Lorenzo Ruiz uh, Parish Church and uh, we go here once in a while uh, and my wife says I want to go to church this is where we go so, so we're gonna do that And uh, here they get agricultural sales. I see some lawnmowers and construction equipment, cement, blender, mixers. Uh, so looks like a pretty big store. Also come up here in the last last couple of years. And they're selling tools all right so so this is the uh, 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 Jose uh, Feliciano yeah. College yeah and then the other side is Greenville yeah green, Greenville green green yeah Greenville resort green. but they're only open during the uh, summer summer season when school is out and they're open. They have two or three big swimming pools. Yeah. Cost a hundred pesos to get in there. Mm -hmm. And then we have karaoke inside. Nice oh yeah, that oh, nice oh, terrible oh, karaoke. Oh, oh, oh. All right. So we're gonna try to cross the street. Let these two cars pass, and we should be able to. That's a Filipino way, right? Yeah. You do put up your hand, say stop, <laughs> stop, stop. 
that's how they uh, that's how they do it here. All oh, right, here's another seasick place. Yeah. That's the old woman uh, legendary to make the seasick. Aling losing. Is she is she the one the founder? Yeah. Of seasick. Yeah, we're gonna do a video tomorrow. Um, we're gonna do a video tomorrow if we at G's barbecue, and we're gonna do one dish, and they'll be showing how to make seasick. So we're going to do that tomorrow. Phil <laughs> Tranco buses? I, is this a Phil Tranco bus station? <laughs> bus terminal? I guess. First time I see that too. I think that's because I don't go out and walk too much. Alright, I think in uh, uh, I don't know if you can see it clearly, but you should see a little bit. Uh, I mentioned that in a video, I think it was either a couple, three days ago, uh, when we were up in uh, Deca. And you could see the mountain, uh, Mount Mariah, from there. And now we're walking towards the highway, and behind the green up there, uh, you see Mount Riot again. It's just a big rock in the middle of this island. It stands over 1,000 meter tall, so what, that should be over 3,000 feet uh, with English, British, U.S. measurement. Uh, it is, uh, it's a big rock. It's a dormant volcano. I don't think it has had any eruptions in hundreds of years. Uh, and here we have a standing problem in the Philippines. Garbage thrown on, on the curbs. Garbage. 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 A small eateries down there. Um, everywhere and uh, oh she's gonna go home yeah. all right so yeah this is where uh, Sean Michael and his parents live in this building small little apartment complex this is a also a pretty uh, typical Filipino rental facility. These are small one bedrooms, right? Yeah, one bedroom. It, and it, it's pretty much just one room. It doesn't have room, family room, or anything like that. They have a room and a bedroom? Yeah, one bedroom. One bedroom, a small family room, or something, okay. That's one of your cousins too, right? They live here too? Yes. Okay. It, it, it's a family gathering place. And there's also uh, Lisa's brother. Oh, Lisa's brother lives here? Okay. So, soon enough, it's a uh, Kinabato building. <laughs> Lanzarote building. Okay, sorry, I was wrong. Are you Lanzarote? No, you're... That's what I'm saying. He's the boss in the building. And here you have a auto care center. Uh, they do pretty much collision 
repairs here and paint the cars and and I don't know how they do it. There's got to be a lot wet sanding, a lot of wet sanding after they're done. Um, in this dust, you know, when they spray, they spray the cars outside here. I guess they wet down the ground and keep the dust down. But that's how they do it. And that's inside Barangay Duke it. Barangay Duke it borders to uh, home site, um, Dao home site, and the uh, Dao um, Barangay Dao is on the other side where we live. It's on the other side of this. And yeah, this is Duke. It. What's this building over here? Commercial buildings? Yeah. And here, here they have... Looks like they have car parts here. Direct importer of Korean vans. I see all kinds of vehicles. I was here once and when I wanted to buy a car and I looked through what they had and they were way overpriced. Cars you pay fifteen hundred dollars for in the US were marked up at five, six, seven thousand dollars here, which is uh, crazy. Beautiful weather though. And here we have S and R membership shopping. Uh, S and R for those who doesn't know is like uh, a uh, Sam's Club or uh, what's the other one called? I, I don't remember what the other one is called, but Sam's Club is one of them. Yeah, S and R is is like a knockoff of Sam's Club. But I've been in there, they don't allow you to film in there, but I've been in there a couple of times. Um, and they do have, uh, especially, uh, especially beef and other things um, that you can buy. Good Australian beef, uh, prime beef uh, that you cannot find in the Filipino store here. It's next to impossible. Hence, I don't eat a whole lot of red meat because it's uh, if you go in here to SNR and buy a kilo of filet, uh, the price is like fifty, sixty dollars, um, two, two to three thousand pesos for a kilo, two pounds. So it's uh, way too expensive. <clears throat> and red meat is not good for you anyway. So. And there is uh, some food places all over here. Lee's, Lee's has eatery. Here we have somebody who's selling firewood, I think. What? Brown up? Did you sell have uh, power? Is is it here? Oh, it's it's close. Okay. So we are going to go in and uh, visit with some relatives to Janice and Camille here. So we're going to hang around here for a little bit tonight and. Uh, this was a little walk, and this be a bye-bye, guys. Thank you very much. God bless. Um, share, like, and subscribe, and hit that bell. Um, and we'll see you in the next video. God bless. Yeah.